So now that we've got that one done, let's turn off my scopes for a second here. The rest of this isn't going to be so in-depth like we've been going through. You're just going to kind of repeat this process. But what we want to do, what a big mistake that people make is when you start on a grade, they'll grade the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one, and do this in order. And eventually what happens if, if you've got things closely matched but they're not perfectly matched, then as you go to the next one, it'll compound that effect. And eventually as you go from beginning to end, you'll have this kind of graph that like slowly goes away from your original file. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to look, you don't have to grade every single entire shot here. Because if we look at the next one, this is our, our uh, long shot here. And as we go to the next one, here's we've got a medium to close up shot here. Uh, more, more, more of a medium shot there. But this shot is the same one as this one here. This is the exact same setup. We just dollied backwards to meet this shot here. So we probably don't need to grade this shot. We can borrow the grade from this one later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through these. I'm going to say, okay, and we're going to grade all of our basic setups. Here's our kind of medium shot. Here's our long shot. So we move down. Actually, let me do command home to get this one back to normal because I was demonstrating that earlier. So we're going to do a grade on the on the long shot. This one's exact same. Here's an extreme. Here's here's more of a close up. Here's this same shot as over here. So we've already done that. And this and this are probably the same shot. This this and this are the same shot as well. So so far I've got one, two, three shots I have to grade. This one's the same. The wide shot. This is an extreme close up that probably needs its own. So that's four. This one's probably already been done. So yeah, I'm guessing I probably only need like four four grades in this and we'll probably have the whole thing done. Then we can copy and paste it other other grades. So let's work on the wide shot. First of all, I'm going to save this right here because I like what I've done here. I could one, one thing I probably want to do is pull a little bit of the blues out of the highlights, but we're not going to get too complex. Let's say that's good enough right now. Okay, so let's go to the wide shot here and we're going to do a grade for the wide shot. First of all, I want to save this. Let's go to my shortcut list and we want this shortcut right here. Control Alt G, and I'm going to change that to Control Command Alt slash slash Option. Give you the PC and the Mac version. So Command Option G is what we want on the Mac here. Control Shift G on the PC to save our grades. So Command Option G. I've got this. I've got this grade selected. Look what this does. It adds a grade up here, and this is a grade that I'm going to be able to use uh, to to add to other add to other grades. So we're going to use this in a couple ways. Let's, sh let's show you here. I'm going to select this one down here. Assuming these are the same uh, the same angles here, I can move my mouse over this. Uh, with this one selected, I can move my mouse over this here. And it's going to show me what happens if I select this grade and add it to this clip there. And since she stood up, she's now in some brighter areas here. We might have to fine tune this, but you can middle click and it adds that whole grade to this entire shot. See, this looks too saturated on her face, looks too contrasty. Uh, so that doesn't really match. Even though that is the same setup when she stands up, it completely changes the grade because she's standing up into some different light. So this one's going to take its own grade. So let's let's work on this one. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to move down and click right there and it adds a cursor. I'm going to call this sitting down medium shot. Now I'm going to move to the wide shot here and I'm going to start performing a grade on this thing. I'm going to kind of bl uh, blow through this thing now. So since we've already gone over th uh, the basics that we did on this shot right there. All right, Command Shift W, bring up my scopes. We're going to go waveform first. Go to my color, color wheels here, and I'm going to bring the lift down, darken up the darks a little bit, grab my gamma, bring it up. Uh, let, let's go gain instead. Gain instead and stretch that up to the, toward the top there. Bring my lift down. Uh, let's create some contrast, more contrast. Bring the gamma down just a little bit, a little more under, less exposure. All right, so I've added my contrast onto the first image here. We're going to go to my next one, Alt Option S, and we're going to make this one into, we're going to work on our uh, balance, our color balance. And I'm going to go Prayed first of all, and look at the color balance, a bigger push in the red. Uh, I found out that I, earlier that I kind of need to use the curves on this. I'm going to go to my first curves. Uh, these are already detached, so I'm going to go on the, on the blue, boost up the blues a little bit, boost up the mids and the blues and get them up to kind of meet the reds there. And uh, those are actually pretty matching on, on the on the wider shot, so I don't have to do too much. Uh, we could add a little bit more contrast to this here. Spread out the contrast on that, and let's look at our histogram here. And look, these are fairly balanced here. The highlights uh, about the same. Let's uh, maybe boost up. Let's bring down the red just a little bit. So curves. Click on a red channel. Bring down the reds just a little bit. We want the red highlights to kind of stay the same. Let's bring it down around this area there. There we go. 
Okay, if we're trying to match this to the first shot here, you do have some matching features. If you just, since we already have a grade over here, what you can do is we can select this layer here, we can select this node here, we've got both of those selected, I just clicked on both of them, and you come up here and hit on your compare screen, your image wipe. This will bring open this uh, little slider window here that you can kind of compare uh, both of these features here. All right, and one thing when I'm com when I'm comparing these two, which you'll notice right now, this one is not a still image on her face, and I actually want it to be on her face. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'm going to create a new gallery still. I'm going to turn my image wipe off. I'm going to select this one. Let me copy my name here. Cont Command C to copy that because I'm going to delete this node. I'm going to move down here. Select this, and I'm going to move it over to where her face is. Wherever you have your playhead at, it's going to make that your uh, gallery still. So now I can do Command Option G, and it makes my gallery still up here. Now it's on her face, and that's much better. So I'm going to click on the name down here, Command V, uh, V as in Victor to paste it, and click on this one. Now we can do a comparison here. So now, now we can look at, see how the face is warmer in this one and even more contrasty uh, on this clip here. Let's do a, we can, we can change this to up and down here and kind of look at the contrast right there. And the contrast is not, meet, is not matching here. So I'm going to add more contrast and go back to, my color wheel here and add some more contrast to the bottom image and get the contrast match and that's looking closer there. Our color balance is looking fairly, fairly uh, similar except the bottom one is maybe a little too saturated looking at these items here so I'm going to grab my saturation bring it down. Let's bring up my vector scope here to look at my saturation. Double click on saturation get it back to normal and look at our saturation. See, it's got some kind of colors bleeding after the red, so I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. And the red is really what you're seeing on the table right there. And that's those table legs. You're seeing some. So what I'm going to do is go to a uh, go to curves. We can do this on another node if we want to. Uh, option S, and I'm going to go to and I'm, I'm going to what I'm going to try to do. Let's bring up. Uh, what I'm going to exaggerate my vector scope here and bring out. That looks like a big spider or something trying to grab somebody with its claws or with its uh, pincers there. Uh, but now you can see that we've got some kind of bleeding to the red and the yellows. And what we can do is we can go to our curves, and we're going to do hue versus saturation. We're going to bring down the saturation in the uh, in the reds. In fact, oh, some of that is off the can there, so we can kind of select the same. Uh, let's try this instead. What I'm going to do, before I do anything to this node here, I'm going to go to this first clip. I'm going to copy a node off of it. Let's turn our comparison off. All right, so rather, because there was one that we brought down the reds uh, specifically on the can on this first clip here. So actually, it was the secondary, if I remember correctly. Let's see. It selected. It. Yeah, that, that was it right there. I can see that curve right there. Uh, that we took out the secondaries on the on the red there. See, so watch what happens as we turn this node on and off. Command D. See how that red gets super bright and feels super saturated, and now that that's fixed there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this, and we're going to do save as shared node here. I'm going to save that as shared node, and uh, that will save it for future grades. I'm going to go to this clip here, and I'm going to click on the last node here and say add node, and it will be shared node one. I actually before I started, I, I already did it was a test and did a shared node, so this one's a different one right there. So I'm going to select this uh, shared node two, and look how it just brought that saturation down right there. And actually, that's a little too much for this shot, so I'm going to bring that saturation just up a little bit more. And it brought down that red right there, so so that that's nice. And it's brought down kind of the reddish. And we can add even one more because we're trying to get that yellowish down there as well. We're seeing kind of some yellow highlights down there. So let's do Option S to do a new node here. And on this one, this one we're going to call, we're going to relabel this node label. We're going to call this Red Sat. And then this one we're going to call Yellow Sat. Node label, Yellow Sat for saturation. Let's see if we can kind of get down that yellow uh, glow right there. Okay, so I'm going to go Hue versus Saturation. And we're going to zoom up here, see if we can find something that's yellow to select here. And maybe kind of this area right here. Let's see what that gets. Let's, let's kind of red it. Let's see what that brings it down. That is not. That's bringing it down on the skin tone line. See, and if I can't find out where it's at, I can start down here by clicking on the yellow. And that gives me a little yellow center. Let's see. Now look at that. That, that is bringing it down there. So I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit so it's not so overly saturated. Pull these in, choke these in a little bit because I just need kind of that narrow color and I don't want to desaturate everything else. So just bring in the narrow the narrowness there, and that looks better. So if we look at our uh, vector scope here, we cranked it all the way up, but now we can tell that it's a bringing that it's bringing the yellow down there. So all right, if we want to kind of compare these shots here, uh, another one I could probably copy is the skin tone over from the other one here. 
So if we go back to the first one here, this might be the same skin tone. Looks like this is more high, is, is brighter. In fact, I kind of like the second one a little bit more. So I'm gonna go to my initial uh, grade here and I'm gonna bring down the highlights on my initial grade here. I'm gonna bring down the gain and bring down the table highlights there. Let's see if that still looks good when she stands up. A little too dark on the face. So let's go to our curves to fix that. Our main curves and just go Y and I'm gonna bring down, let's stop it right around here so it's not getting any of the detail below this and I'm going to bring down the highlights here. Let's look at the beginning of the table here. That's looking better. Right about there on the curve is where I like that. So, so as we cut to this one, seems like the, uh, this one is a little brighter than the first one so I'm going to bring down just my mids on this as well right about there so she looks a little darkened and now let's see if those match. I like that match there. That, that looks pretty good. Okay we're getting there. Like I said, this will start cruising once you get your first initial grades done. Uh, but now as it stands up, we can do our little match here and look at kind of back and forth. Uh, let's do side to side. It looks like we got a little more contrast on the face here, so we can add a little more contrast. I like the contrast from this one here, so I'm going to match this one to meet the contrast. Let's do a final. Let's, let's go to our uh, beginning here. Or we could even just do one more node here. I know I'm going node crazy here, but we can add one more node. And this helps if you're on a bigger screen as well. Actually, you can just bring the size down so you can see what you're doing a little bit more if you're getting no, if you're going node crazy. And on this last one here, I'm going to do a final contrast to kind of match everything else. Let's go contrast. Uh, let's let's bring up our waveform. Our highlights are peaking a little too much. Get our darks down near the bottom there to really define those. And there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And the real telltale is when you play from clip to clip. And watch closely. Let's go. Let, actually, let's go. Right now, I'm going to do uh, Option F or, or Alt F on a PC to make this go a little bit bigger. Let's close our scopes here. And we're going to play through this here and watch as it cuts from shot to shot. And I like that. It looks like it's, look like, like it's matching pretty good. I like the look of this. Uh, option F to go back. If you do Command F or Control F, it'll go completely full screen. Well, let's look at our grade before and after. Shift D, there's our original grade, or, or here's our untouched file, and there's our new grade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to do, uh, so now that we've got this, our wide shot, let's get this into the thumbnail that I like, right there where she's standing up, and I'm going to hit Command Option G. It'll be Control Option, Control Alt G on a PC. And here's our thumbnail, and we're going to just call this wide shot. I'm going to do the same thing on uh, this clip needs its own grade, this clip needs its own grade, this one is duplicate here. So I'm going to go through and choose key shots that I'm going to add as gallery stills and I'm going to do like maybe five or six of the little setups here and then we're going to come back and show you the rest. So I'm going to do the same thing, trying to match everything and then we're going to come back and show you where I'm at. 